Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. It's Monday, the 25th of September. Main news today Adrissa Garner Guy is allegedly about to sign a new deal with Everton this week. A reporter has put it on that most faithful of place, most accurate of social media outlets, Twitter, that Garner will sign a new deal this week. It's not Paul Joyce. As soon as Joyce says it, you know that it's done. But, you know, he signed for £7 million last season from Aston Villa, so he's probably due a contract upgrade. Hasn't been great this season, but we know that he's an excellent player. So, a Drissa Garner guy looking to sign a new deal with Everton this week. Um, moving on to some transfer stuff that's bobbling around. Um, Lovre Kalinic, the Genk keeper, he's a Croatian goalkeeper, has said... He wouldn't have joined Everton in the summer. Everton were rumoured rumor to be looking at him. And the headline is, he would have refused to sign for the Blues. When you actually read this quote, he just said, I've signed a four-year deal with Ghent and I was never going to push it with my agent, but I might like to go to the Premier League. So hardly I wouldn't have signed for Everton. Let's be honest, either crawled here. Uh, other transfer news, Everton are rumoured to be returning to Arsenal in January with a £40 million offer in a silver briefcase and a foot-long subway for Olivier Giroud. Um, Koeman wanted them. Giroud apparently wanted to come, but his missus didn't. So I don't know how they're going to get his missus here in January. Um, I suppose it all depends on whether Giroud plays in the Arsenal first team between now and then regularly enough to keep him there. Uh, 40 million, is that too much? It was rumoured to be 25 million in, in August. You know, is he what we need? We do need a target man. I do like him. I think he's great. He, he scores goals, but he's not quick, is he? People be moaning the lack of pace. Who knows? Others, you know, the, another story's come out that Everton bid 66 million pounds for Diego Costa as the window drew to a close. Now, that's all very well and good, but we know that Costa wanted to go back to Athletic Home Madrid, and ultimately that's what, um, that's why the transfer didn't happen. But sixty-six mil, it's a lot of money. He is a boss player, like, but it's a lot of money, isn't it? Leading on to that, some outlets reporting that Everton are going to go in for Edison Cavani, the rumour to be meeting uh, PSG somewhere this week in Paris, probably in a nice little cafe on the Champs Elysees, sitting there having a little. A little coffee, a little espresso, and discussing Cavani. Uh, the 30 year old Uruguayan, um, available for around £40 million, pound, apparently. Uh, would you have him? Brilliant in the air. Scores decent amount of goals. Argues with Neymar over penalties and then misses them. But, you know, I think he'd, he'd be, listen, he's still a big name in football. He'd be good for Everton, of course, he would, because of his target, man. Um, but, is there anything in that? Can you see it happening? PSG Champions League, playing with Neymar. You know, can you see him coming to Everton? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Davy Klassen returned to Ajax yesterday for a farewell. They hadn't set, had the chance to say goodbye to him properly. He went on, he got a fantastic ovation. Ajax were tweeting lots of lovely messages, showing pictures of him as a kid and him ending up as the club captain. Uh, he's come to Everton. It hasn't quite worked out so far but Dutch journalists uh, a very confident class and will be a good addition for Everton when he settles down um, Ajax unfortunately lost the game 2-1 so they could have done with their former captain is that it Ped? one more oh, how could I forget how could I forget the man at the moment the prince not only did the poor fella not have a locker it's now become quite apparent that he hasn't even got a club suit. I am talking, of course, about Everton's two-goal hero from the weekend, Umar Nias, who will be fitted, suited and booted for the weekend against Burnley. He was the only Everton player in a trackie at the weekend. How harsh is that? They're all turning up with suits on, he just bounces in with, like, blue trackie top and a pair of black trackies with his, his wash bag. Going, lads, I'm here, and if you need me, I'll be on the bench. Um, but this weekend he's going to have a lovely new Everton suit but you know what if he doesn't score this weekend against Burnley make him wear trackies every week 
swerve the suit. Maybe the tracky is his lucky, it's like lucky little mascot thing. But he's at least gonna look and feel like a player. He's got a nice shiny new locker from IKEA with Umar written on. It's probably like a Billy or something. They can put them together quite quickly, paint it, and then Umar on. And now he's getting a suit. It's all good. Be captain soon. Who knows? Anyway, that's been the news. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Click the little bell button. And then you get all the notifications when a new video is out. And if you're really nice, get over, subscribe on Patreon and watch all the videos there as well. Do it, you may as well. See you soon on Sophie TV.